This is Galleon's 425 HDS. I'm always interested to look at Galleons because they have some really interesting layout ideas. So I'm going to take you on board of this one and we're going to do the full tour. Now this one's out of the water in Southampton with approved boats who kindly invited me up to come and see and film it. So we're going to have a look out of the water at it and we're going to head on board and do the full tour. Now as we pass down by this one, I'll show you the bow thruster. So that's up in here, that's the propeller. And what that does is when you're docking, it allows you to actually push the bow of the boat sideways using that propeller. So that's a very handy thing. But actually this one's also got IPS drives. Now you may have heard me talk about pod drives and IPS. Well, here we go. Perfect example of seeing them out of the water. So these are forward facing counter rotating propellers. So these go in opposite directions to each other because a lot of grip on the water. There's two of them, so there's another pod on the other side, and these don't just power the boat, they also swivel to drive the boat. But what's really clever with these is that you can use a joystick to swivel them independently of each other and control the whole boat. So if I come around here, so what you can do here is if you push the joystick to the side, the computer configures the direction and the thrust to actually make the boat go the way you want it, whether you want to swivel it, push it sideways, whatever. The other thing this one's got, interestingly, is interceptor trim tabs. Now trim tabs normally look like this, they're like aerolons on an airplane, they just tilt down into the water and that pushes the water down and tilts the boat to trim it. These drop vertically, they're like blades that come out, so they're much faster acting. So that's quite interesting. And these are underwater lights. If you ever see these lit up, I've got a video of a boat lit up at night and you can see the whole back of the boat glows, it's wonderful. And then finally you've got a high-low platform on here, this is the mechanism for it. So this whole platform will drop into the water, in this case, to lower the jet ski in so that you can go off jet skiing. Let's go and have a look on board because this is really rather interesting. So as I say, this is this high-low platform. This here, incidentally, is a shower. You can pull the shower head out on a wand. There's a tap for it there. So when you come out from swimming or jet skiing, of course, you can give yourself a nice hot freshwater shower on the back of the boat. That's brilliant. And this seat clearly has a mechanism on it to drop flat, but I must be honest and say, can't quite figure out how that works. So we'll leave that for the minute, take it as red. Let's go look around the outside for the moment. And then we'll come on board and look inside. This has got the spray painted finish up here, which looks really nice, it's metallic gray. And you've got huge opening windows on this boat. So you really open up the interior to the outside. And of course, this massive opening roof section as well. You don't normally get a van driving past when you're in the marina occupational hazard when you're out here on the hard standing. Anyway, let's carry on. These will take big sunbathing cushions on here. And this is interesting. This is a big glass panel. Now you'll see when we go inside just how useful that is. And you've got some cup holders there as well at the head. So when you're lying on your sun pads, you can have your drinks up here. And then right at the front, of course, as you'd expect, is an anchor locker. So your actual anchor is hung over the bow on that cradle. Inside here is the winch for it and the chain locker. A lot of nice teak on this boat as well, it looks really good. Huge one-piece windscreen and big wipers too, so great when conditions are not quite so nice. Anyway, we're going to go and head inside and give you the tour. There's an interesting layout on this one. I like these big rails they put on here, help you around the boat. Now this is a deck saloon boat, so you have a separate internal space here through this door and then the cockpit out here with this rearward facing seat, which is really nice because you can sit here and look out across the back of the boat. But what is great is that this whole window will lift like this, up level with the ceiling. And that then really connects these two areas. So suddenly this is like bringing the inside out. This whole area becomes open. And because you've got these big drop windows on either side and the big opening roof section, it makes this whole deck area feel like an open boat, but obviously just with a little bit more shelter when you're in this section of it. And of course they've kept the floor as well, the same all the way through. So this really does feel like an outside area when you want it to be. That's really good. Big dinette area here. And I mentioned the drop windows, you can see it more clearly now as we come further up through the boat. And on this side then, you've got a wet bar area, so your sink is here, your griddle is here, that of course drops down when it's not in use. And then underneath there's a fridge, and there's a storage in places like this. And then up ahead, 
is your helm position. Now again, very clever, what they've done is they've made this a great big lounging area because of course a lot of the time the boat stopped, it's in the harbour or you're just on it for the evening. But then when you're underway, all you need to do is move that cushion out of the way before we fling it on the floor and that just drops back and you've got your helm seat. So great duality of purpose there. This is a lift section, so if you want to stand at the helm, just drop that up, step into here and now you can stand here and you can look out over the front or of course sat down you've got that big one piece windscreen for a great view out engine instrumentation here and here she's twin engines of course and nav screen is underneath this one this is the raymarine axiom very nice unit and that little fella under there is the autopilot so when you're underway doing a long cruise you can flick that on and that just holds the steering and holds it on course for you Helm is here. This is this joystick controller that I mentioned. So this is what configures those pods that we looked at underneath the boat. So for example, we've come in and we want to go alongside a berth on this side. If we push this to the side like this, it will alter those pods and the thrust and make the whole boat just crab sideways. Equally, if you want to just spin the boat in its own length, you can do that, push it forward. So the whole boat can be controlled at low speed in and around a marina with that. And it just gives you a load of options. It's very good indeed. And these are the throttles when you're actually out at sea and underway. Anyway, let's head down a bit further because I particularly like the lower deck on this boat. If we head down here, we'll find the galley. Big, chunky steps as we come down. Those are nice. But look at this area down here. This is lovely. So you've got a nice little space to tuck yourself away of an evening and have a drink or chat to whoever's doing a bit of cooking. And that's the galley. So two burner hob, then up behind there you've got your cooker. And then this is storage in areas like this. And of course a load more then down here, like so. Sink is underneath this one. Very nice. Well, that's a great little den down here, isn't it? I like that very much. And then if we head forward, we'll find the guest cabin. Now you might remember we were on the foredeck. There's that big glass section. Well, that's this up here. So it throws a load of light into this cabin, but there are blinds. So if you don't want that, you can close that across so you don't get woken up in the morning. Big windows in here as well in the hull. So those are nice. And a large double bed. Storage everywhere along here as well and around the other side of the bed and there is of course a big wardrobe in here too but look at the way that this is illuminated and it's finished this lovely alcantara material and the wood on the floor even little areas like that you don't see very often it's all very nicely finished i know what you're thinking what's in there i don't know let's have a look ah you see now this is again really good access to some of the boat systems so uh, this is bow thruster switch, in fact, it's all marked, which is very clever, and circuit breakers. I like things like that, it's practical. Cool. Let's head back and look at the master cabin. There's a TV down here as well. This is more storage up in behind here. And I do like this upholstery, that looks very smart. Let's head on back. This then, is your master cabin. This is really nice. Look at that. So you've got that central double bed and then you can move around that. You've got a little dressing table over here so you can sit on the edge of the bed. Open that up. It's a mirror there. Keep your knickknacks in. That one doesn't because it's drawers underneath. Very good. And there's a photo of your loved one by the bed. <laughs> Excellent. And again, big wardrobe in here. And a load of storage down that side as well. But some nice finishes and detailing in here. That's really good. And again, you can see how they've used every inch because those are the steps that come down in that corner. And that's what's important in boats is just to try and really utilize the space that you've got. Now in here, there is an ensuite. So that is behind this door. And what they've done is they've put these shower doors in 
so that you've got that as a big rainfall shower, but you can close it off with these doors so that you've got a dry section to come out into. And that's obviously your sink. And a bit more storage underneath. And that has reminded me that we walked right past the day heads. That's up here on the port side. So let's have a look in here. There we go. And that, of course, at night is what your guests in the forward cabin would use. Again, there's a shower. So that's just like a wet room, really. The shower is just there. And your sink and your storage and so forth. But to get two heads in that big cabin in a boat of this size and this big area down here, that is pretty good. And again, you've got these huge hull windows. You can't see them terribly well at the minute because there's a boat right next to us, but you get the idea. Cool. Let's head back up here. What's left then is to find the engines. This is a nice area though. Okay. Now, there is a tender garage on this boat. I'm not going to open it for the minute because we need to get the bathing platform down a bit and that kind of thing. But we can access the engines under my feet here. So, so what I'm going to do is drop this window down from whence it came. And that will allow us to close this one. And then we can open this fellow here. Now this is just an access hatch because as I say, there is a tender garage and what you can do is when the tender is out is get the floor up and then get into here properly. But what this allows is just to have a quick daily check, make sure there's nothing nasty going on. And also allow us to have a quick look as well because we do like to look at the engines on Aquaholic, as you know. Now these are a pair of Volvo Penta IPS 500s. I think they're 370 horsepower from memory. They're giving the boat about 30 knots, maybe a touch over, cruising speed then in the mid 20s and a range around 300 miles. But as I mentioned earlier, if you're doing any work on these, you would get the tender out and you would get in under the floor, that way you can see it. But there's a section that lifts out and that allows you to get down on top of the engines, which is much better. This is just to have a quick look, which is all you need anyway. Um, generators in here as well, of course, and then a lot of the wiring systems like fire extinguishers and that kind of thing, seacocks and so on, they're all accessed from here. And these are the top of the pods. So those pods that we saw underneath, this is what it looked like on the other side. So the drive comes out the back of the engines and then straight down. Excellent, I think that will do us. So there we go. Huge thanks to Approved Boats for organising that one for me. Really appreciate it. And thanks to you, of course, for watching. Let me know what you think of this one in the comments and give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you're not subscribed, hit that little bell, hit the subscribe button because we've got loads more great stuff coming for you. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.